What's going on, everybody? I'm Kevin from Cigar Prop, and I'm here to talk about this Need One 150 cigar capacity thermoelectric humidor. Before you say anything, Kevin, you have like a lot of humidors. Why are you uh, reviewing another one? I've got a friend of mine. She is a newer cigar smoker. She is in desperate need of a new humidor. Reached out to Need One. Um, like, hey, would you like me to do uh, a review? Uh, and if I like the humidor, I will post it, and then I will forward this on to a uh, worthy sister of the leaf. And that's what we're doing today. I have spent the last month uh, with this humidor, and uh, there are several things that I absolutely love about it. A couple things, not too thrilled about it, but those aren't deal breakers either. And I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the right camera. I'm filming on multiple cameras for different platforms. So uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to be looking a lot of the times. Um, so need one, 150 capacity. They make larger humidors than this. This is actually their smallest one. Uh, great price point, about $170, um, which you can't buy a, a good desktop humidor for, for cheaper than that. So this is a great alternative to desktop humidors. Uh, this one does have a, a broader temperature range. This is thermoelectric. So it means there's no compressor. So it means it's quieter and it holds more cigars. Thermoelectric does have its downsized, uh, and that is the temperature range it, in which it operates. Now, Need One says they have a wider temperature range. So you can stick this in an environment from 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 78 degrees uh, uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, most thermoelectric humidors, that's normally around 60 to 78, when you start to fall in between that, um, they don't work quite as efficiently. Uh, thermoelectric means they use a Peltier device, AKA a heat sink to heat and cool uh, the unit. For me in Florida, I am in my home cigar lounge. It is a constant 72 degrees inside this lounge, sometimes a little chillier. Um, for me using this unit, I would just unplug it. I wouldn't even plug it in. I would just use this as a desktop humidor because the temperature doesn't fluctuate inside here. So for me, there's no reason to keep this plugged in all the time, but you may have a man cave. You may have a basement uh, where you need the heating and the cooling. Uh, the things that I love about it, top quality construction. This thing is constructed amazing. It's beautiful. It's sexy. It's all black. It's got a fantastic clear face. You can see your cigars. And unlike some other ones, it actually has a light that works. There we go. Um, not the super brightest, but we all don't need lights in our humidor anyways. But this one does light up um, a little better than others that, that are on the market. Um, super tight seal. I mean, you can... you. You get it real close and it just sucks in and you actually have to put some pressure on it to open it up. So that means you're never going to accidentally leave it cracked. And you hear that seal, um, super, super tight seal, quiet. I, I mean, I can get my microphone all the way up to it. This thing, I'm not kidding. You can keep this beside your bed on your nightstand plugged in and you will never hear this thing running. It is amazing how quiet this is. A couple things that I'm not a fan of on this humidor and others like this. It's not just uh, uh, relegated to this particular humidor. Um, like I said, these are some things that may not bother you. Um, open it up. You can't get the drawers out. You got to open the door past 90 degrees to get the door out. Probably thinking, Kevin, you're just being nitpicky. There are places where I would keep this humidor to where it would make it a little harder to open it past 90 degrees to get this these drawers out. That's just being me. That's just one thing um, that I look at. As in the drawers that themselves go, amazing Spanish cedar, real Spanish cedar. Um, you can see, you can keep boxes of cigars. I had, I just cleaned this out. I was keeping cigars in here for about a month. Like I said, they kept them in beautiful, beautiful conditions. Uh, speaking of the drawers, that's the one thing that I'm not 
a fan of on this unit is the drawers and others like this. The drawers, they do come out, but there's no side protection and there's not a large lip up front. So what that, what that means is if you had stacks of, of cigars in here, you could stack them this way, but you would only get so high before you pulled them out and they would tumble off. If you kept them this way and you stacked them and you pulled them off, they would actually fall out this way. Um, I do wish there was um, some side protection for the cigars and a little bit larger lip. Um, the, the smaller lip does make it nice if you were keeping boxes of cigars in here. You can get them stacked. Um, so if it had a larger lip, you know, you would have to pull the drawer out to get the box out. But that's something I would be willing to do. And then on this particular humidor, these drawers are set. So you can pull them out. You can take this large, I love this large tray, and you can move it up one notch. This tray now no longer goes in. There's nowhere for it to go in. Yes, you could just keep boxes inside there if you like. Um, and you just have to put this tray somewhere else. So there's no configuration other than the stock configuration where all three drawers fit in here. Is it a, a deal breaker? Only you're going to be able to decide that. For me, possibly. Um... But for the price point of this, and this being such a fantastic unit, I don't think that would be a, a deal breaker. Uh, it does come with a little water tray to you for you to season your humidor. So how this works is you're going to take this out and you're actually just going to throw this away and you're never going to use this. Um, and it's nothing against this humidor. Everybody knows I am... Uh, I preach stop seasoning your humidors. People over-season their humidors. They'll put this tray in here. Everything will get super moist, um, soak up all that extra moisture. They'll put cigars in there that already have a lot of moisture in there, and then it'll be too moist in there. Then they got to crank down the temperature and get that down really low to help battle any mold or mildew issues. Um, unbox this, plug it in, put your cigars in it, walk away for two weeks, come back, see how the unit is doing. You may have to throw a couple Boveda packs in there or whatever your humidity of choice is. Um, it's easier to bring the humidity up than it is to bring it down. If it gets too high, you'll have to crank the temperature down, which will combat any mold or mildew, or you'll have to leave the door open for an hour or two a day to leave, uh, to, to bleed off the excess moisture. So don't, don't, do not season these, plug them in, put your cigars in there and let them go. Um, but other than that, other than that, the little drawer thing, um, and then the door thing, which is my pet peeve. Uh, this is an amazing humidor. Like I said, top quality construction, uber quiet, um, only $170. You can find them on Amazon. I don't know if I will have a discount code or a, uh, a link. You'll have to check the description of whatever video that whatever platform you're watching this video on. Maybe a link in bio thing, maybe a link down below. I don't know. We haven't talked about that with need one. If they're going to supply me with a discount code. Um, but at the, uh, the current going rate of Amazon, uh, at $170, you cannot beat this price. Um, like, like I said at the beginning, you can't find a good quality desktop humidor for under $200 that will hold 150 cigars. And that is absolutely just maintenance free. So check out need one humidors. Um, I will leave a link to their Amazon page. Um, if there is a, a coupon code or anything of that that'll be in the, the description or a link in my bio, uh, check them out. If you're in need of a humidor, if you need one, buy one, that's actually pretty good. Need one. If you, you should use that. So uh, all right, cats and kittens, um, we'll catch you on the flip side.